Is BMW making a new homage concept? Yep. Also, it'll be the dawn of a new Rolls Royce Wraith next year. You'll see what I, uh, what I mean by that. And Toyota is updating their GT86 a bunch for next year as well. Plus, Lexus is like, okay, yeah, all right, maybe the RC Coupe was kind of a mistake, sort of. And we have your FLD question of the day. Isn't that right, AK? Yes, Derek D. It sure is. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily at the right place, at the right time, because you can watch it when? Anytime. Um, automakers don't like admitting they've made mistakes. I mean, if the GM ignition switch recall doesn't prove that to be true, then I don't know what does. So when Lexus admitted producing the RC Coupe was a mistake, you know, people paid attention. Well, all right, in reality, it didn't really go down like that. Lexus clarified that it would have preferred to reveal a three-row crossover before introducing the RC Coupe. So not that it was really a mistake, but more so just not a crossover mistake. It was just not a crossover mistake. You get what I'm saying? Money, money really is king. Mm. You know what I mean? Because that's where all the money's going, these crossovers. Because with the surging crossover sales, the RC Coupe has sold okay, but Lexus estimates it would have sold three times or sell three times as many crossovers. Can someone say long wheelbase RX? Long wheelbase RX. Oh uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that may be right around the corner. You know? In related news, crossovers. Just crossovers everywhere. That's it. Hey, here's a fun fact. The Toyota GT86 and its counterparts, the Scion FRS and Subaru BRZ, of course, have been in production for three years. Time flies, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how fun that was. That fun fact? I don't know how fun <laughs> that was. Anyway, Toyota has already confirmed a second generation of the GT86 will be built. And it's coming in April of next year. The newer sports car will get restyled bumpers, headlights, and a wider, lower grille. Oh, and yes, uh, power will increase. It'll increase just a little bit to 208 horses. Toyota hasn't said anything about a sedan, convertible, or sportier GT86 or Scion FRS being on the way. So, we'll see about that. Oh, here's another fun fact. Okay. This is FLD's 2097th episode. Wow. A little more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Here's another fun fact. I got a t-shirt on under here. <laughs> <laughs> BMW has surprised many with the announcement that they will reveal a new homage concept later this month at the Concorso de la Ganza Villa de Iste. Nice. <laughs> Fun to say. Concorso de la Ganza Villa de Iste. Villa de Iste. Oh, do it. I get it, right? The last time BMW made a similar concept, it was the 328 homage in, 19, in uh, 2011, I'm sorry. This new design concept will be called the 3.0 CSL homage, and it pays tribute to the iconic BMW coupe from the 1970s, but you can guarantee it won't look like that car from the 70s. Not only will its uh, styling be way more retroly modern, but it will use advanced lightweight materials, so think lots of carbon fiber. What's powering it? Who knows? But this little greenish yellow teaser right here looks very interesting. The taillights kind of go right up into the spoiler. I guess you could call that a spoiler alert. <laughs> because the <laughs> taillights and the red. <laughs> we knew it was coming, AK. And now Rolls Royce has officially announced the drop top version of the Wraith Coupe. How exciting. Yeah. I'm stoked, yeah. It will be called the Dawn. Yeah, I get it. Because as you take the top down and the light comes in, it's kind of like the dawn. But Rolls-Royce said it chose the name to signify an awakening of one's senses to uh, the outside world. Give me a break. So yeah, like I said, it's like the dawn, okay? It will, of course, use the same 6.6-liter twin-turbo V12 as the Wraith, giving you 624 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of what, Erica? 
Torque. Whoa, delay action. Yeah. Okay. Which brings that hefty beast to 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds. The Dawn is slated to go on sale early next year. Pretty much uh, every convertible ever is sort of the same thing, but then with a giant motor and exuberant luxury, I guess that earns it the fancy name of the Dawn. All right, it's now time for your FLD question of the day. Hey, do you remember last week when I said, we need to have some more ladies send us in some FLD Q of the Ds? Not some more, we never had any FLD Q of the Ds, but we got some. And here is, well, you know what? I'll just let her tell you. Hey Derek G, it's Lucia, and I'm calling you from Italy, where I have a question, a kind of futuristic question. Ah, well, hey Lucia, calling from, calling me from Italy. Well, you're not really calling me, but I, but I wonder though, are you just living or going to school out there? Because I, I didn't hear an accent. You know, there's no accent there. Maybe she's going to school out there or something. Either way, it doesn't matter. So uh, keep going. I heard that there is a company called Terra Future that is basically mm -hmm. trying to combine the concept of a drone with the self-driving car to create a flying car. Ah, okay, yes, all right. Uh, I have definitely heard of Terrafusia, uh, and they do make flying cars, but I'm pretty sure the company you're referring to that is working to combine a drone with a self-driving car to make an autonomous driving and flying car is Aeromobile, based out of Slovakia. That's a mouthful. Oh, yeah. Oof. So your exact question is? Um, it sounds so out there, but do you think it's possible in our lifetime? Is it something that we could maybe see, or is it just a concept that we'll never really see? Right. Oh, so, so basically you asked, do you think we'll see flying cars or self-driving slash flying cars in our lifetime? Uh, all right, here's, uh, here's the thing. To quickly answer your question, sure. I think we will see that in our lifetime. We already do, in a sense. Now, okay, let me, uh, let me break that down a bit for you. And I'm not trying to make fun of Terrafusia at all. What they are doing is great. Someone's gotta do it, right? But they say they have a flying car right now. And I guess technically uh, they do. But look at their transition flying car here. Yeah, it can drive on the street and it can fly. But you ask any little kid Hey, what is that? And they will say, airplane. They will look at that flying in the sky, they will say airplane. They definitely won't say car. Now, their next flying car is the TFX, which doesn't actually exist yet, but hey, it looks more, more, it looks more car-like than the transition, and it, and it does look pretty awesome. Hopefully, this happens. But still, very plane-like. See, my whole thing here with the flying car is until it looks like this, yeah, something crazy futuristic. This, I mean, come on, that's just a given, right? You gotta love Marty McFly and that whole deal. Right. Or this, yeah, just a regular Lamborghini Huracan, but it can friggin' fly. Then, I can truly call it a flying car. And that other company, Aeromobile here, yeah, that's awesome too. But again, you see it looks way more like a plane than a car. Show a kid that, he's saying plane. Show a kid this, he's saying car in the sky, which translates to what? A flying car. So that's what I think. And I hope it helped. I'm not sure if it did. But I think you get what I'm saying, yeah. right? So uh, that was a good question, though. Oh, yeah. Anything else, uh, Lucia? Also, I love your show so much. <laughs> oh, well... Thank you so much. We love you for loving the show. And you've got a very cute laugh, I must add. So uh, let us know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D. And come on, ladies, send in more questions. It's fun. I mean, all you guys, everyone send in questions, but, you know, mix it up a bit. Yeah. yeah. You know? And you could send those to tipsofastlanedaily.com. And we prefer a YouTube link, and uh, just like Lucia did. So thank you for that. And that. He's gonna do it for Fascinating Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, guys. You know what? You guys rock my socks. And I'm not even wearing any. <laughs> nope, no socks. Wow. Sockless. Sockless. Oh. Do you know any Italian? Bonjour. That's French. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Neptune. Neptune. Ciao. Ciao. Ow. We're living in the fast lane, baby.